Hi everyone, this is Robert Gephardt again, and uh, as some of you might know, I'm back in the States for the 4th of July. Well, I'm back here for a while and I get to spend the 4th of July here, so I get to celebrate it here. It's a long weekend, and I'm in Charleston visiting my parents, and I don't know if you can see Charleston. It's, okay, way too backlit, but that's Charleston behind me. And so that's it. Uh, it's a long weekend here, so I hope you're enjoying the long weekend if you're here for July 4th. If not, I hope you're enjoying the weekend. And I, well, I just wanted to do this video also because I realized I'm actually really looking forward to July 5th because uh, there are a lot of things I want to get working on and everything's going to be closed though and it won't be possible until then. And so I also hope that all of you are looking forward to July 5th or to Monday as well. Because it reminded me, I have way too many friends, people that, who I know who, you know, look forward to the weekend, basically live for the weekend or for the holidays and that's it. And I think that's such an unhealthy way to live and I really wouldn't wish it on anyone. I mean, it, you're going to spend, if you're working, you know, full time, semi full time, you're spending 60 to 80% of your waking hours dealing with work, at work, going to or from work, worrying about work, planning for work, thinking about work, talking about work, complaining about work, you know, uh, thinking about changing your work or whatever it is. And so if you're in something you don't like in a situation you don't like, then it's really not healthy and it's just... It's just sad, quite frankly, and I really hope that you're able to change that and that you're able to actually look forward to, sorry, look forward to the uh, the new work week, that you're able to, you know, look forward to things you can work on, new things you can do, what you can expand on, see if this works out or that doesn't, etc., etc. And so I do hope that all of you are looking forward to July 5th or to Monday and that you're able to do that every week. And of course, take the weekend off, take time off. You know, you want to be with family, you want to rest, you know, you want to relax and all that good stuff. But you do that so that you can hit the ground running once again. And I think that's such an important feeling to have. And you shouldn't be concentrating on, I mean, it, you're, you're in a job to earn money. And I assume whatever you're going to use that money for is to make your life better. So ultimately, you're in a job to have a better life. But if your life is miserable because of your job, so you're saying you're making your life miserable so you can earn money, so you can have a good life. There's something wrong with that equation, right? Because you're making your life miserable to have a good life and something's wrong there. So I just feel it's something important that we all need to take stock of every now and then and, you know, look at our lives and make sure that it's something we want to be doing. And, um, you know, or if there's something we want to change or a detail or anything like that, because I do like this feeling. I get to spend time with my family, celebrate, you know, the 4th of July. And then I'm really looking forward to after that when I get to go back to work and work on the different projects I'm doing, the translation, the videos, the course that came out and, uh, and stuff like that. So anyway, that's just a long message to say happy 4th of July or happy weekend to you wherever you may be and I'll talk to you next time. Sorry, there's nothing about translation in this video. It's, uh, I guess it's more just about life in general. So there you go. Okay, thanks. Bye.